One man, top marksman in the Champions League. Can he add to his haul this evening? Welcome on a wet night for all concerned. It's been raining cats and dogs here. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu for you is the final group stage game in the Champions League. It's Salzburg up against Benfica. Well, this should be a good one, Derek. These European nights are always special under the floodlights. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Well, the wide midfield players and the fullbacks need to have a good understanding here. If the midfield players tuck in, then the fullbacks need to get forward into the space they vacate, just to give them some attacking width. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Well, they're playing with a midfield diamond, so key to their success will be the holding midfielder and the player in the number 10 position. They really need to influence the game here today. And this Champions League group stage contest commences. Rafa. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, I must say it's a nice position to be in. First place already guaranteed for the visitors. They can just go out there and enjoy the football. Yeah, they've cruised the top spot. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Played over. Well, nothing untoward happened. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Well, the referee trying to play advantage there, but it wasn't forthcoming. Well, he can consider himself admonished, even in the absence of a yellow card.
Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, how can you stop him? If you get too tight, he'll use the space behind you, drop off, and he'll turn and run at you. Add that to his movement in the box, and you can see why he scored so many goals. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Quite that. Rafa. Very quick thinking there. I understand there's been a goal at the San Siro, so let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal for Inter. It's now 1-0 with only 24 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Well, a good tackle. He has teammates around him. Oh, fancy footwork. Now, will they do it from here? Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Who can they pick out? And cleared off the line. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, it petered out. And he's in. Oh, did so well to deny him. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Now sending it in. Well, no problems defensively. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. A gift for any goalkeeper. Good bit of pressing. It is a decent looking attack here. He's in behind. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Well, as you can see, Benfica haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, have they? But their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. There will be one minute added on at the end. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Elects to go short. Now sliding in field and using his body to good effect. That is that for the first half here. Well, Rafa certainly was influential in the first half, it's fair to say. Interested to get your assessment. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play.
And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. And the ball is in the net at the San Siro. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's another goal for Inter. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 46 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Short corner taken. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, having previously been admonished by the referee, that was always likely to be seen as a bookable offence. Yeah, he's had the warning. He just couldn't control himself, though, could he? Well, how can we put it? Not a free kick that's going to live long in the memory. Well, how we can put it, it's a poor effort, poor technique. Probably the wrong decision as well. That needed to go into the box. And that was a very fine read. Plenty of support here. Well, let's see about the cross. And nobody applying pressure. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Here it is now, a substitution. He's driven in the corner. And a struggle to get it away properly. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there. But I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. And now to level the game. Oh, he's guessed correctly and saved it. That'll be a Salzburg ball. Good looking sequence and a decent delivery. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Well, as you can see from those stats, their creativity has been really good. They've dominated play at times. They've got the ball into the final third with great ability. But when they've got it there, the finishing just hasn't Oh, they been... could put it away, Stuart. Under real pressure here. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending.
So the ball is rolling again at one all. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Oh, he's given the ball away. And plenty of room in the wide area. Rafa. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. I understand there's been a goal at the San Siro, so let's hear all about it from Alex. Yes. It's a second goal for Spurs. The game's all level again at 2-2 with 79 minutes played. Thanks. This could finish it. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left and the margin just one. Opportunity here. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So back underway at 3-1. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have Cook for one back here. Determined defending. And time for the change now. And the referee has given them a corner. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Can he finish this? And in it goes. They're getting closer. They're not finished yet. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. And now it is truly final. The match is over. Well, in the final analysis, a spectacular contribution from Rafa, full of highs and substance. Stuart, I wonder what you made of his performance. Well, his movement was brilliant today. Whether he was running in behind or dropping into pockets of space, he caused all sorts of problems. What a good hat-trick that was.